coffee beans! How's it brewing? I'm back with a really exciting video. But look what I got! <laughs> I'm starting to catch up on these boxes. I have no idea which box this is. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't already seen my April and March box, and yes, I know that's out of order, but that's the order I received them, you know that I am really far behind on the Sophie and Toffee boxes because they've been all held up in the Postal Service. So I've been getting them kind of out of order and super late. I think this one is May, which is also really exciting because it is the, um, Stop it. Get some help. Dessert one. I couldn't think of what it was called. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh! Uh, look at how damaged it, the box is. Come on. And it's such a pretty box, too. Lame. Okay. <laughs> no sneak peeks. Ready? So this box is the Bubble Tea Cafe, which I'm so excited about because, as you know, I love coffee. Not so much tea. I like matcha. I like matcha green teas, but not like hot or iced tea. But I like coffee. Hence why you guys are called coffee beans, remember? If you wonder why I say hi, coffee beans, I'll put a link below to the video where I explain why I say hi coffee beans. Sound good? So as always, they give you some tutorials and ideas here. Um, and then also what hashtags do you so you can be featured. Okay, so this is all regular box items first. And I got premium, so I got everything. Bubble tea molds. I'm so interested to see how tiny these are. Pancake mold. Thankfully, we got some more UV resin because I just ran out of UV resin. Um, we got some pigment dye. It's not colored UV resin, it's just pigment dye. So we got yellow, white, and brown. <gasps> oh my gosh, we got some polymer clay fruit slices. Yay! I love cane slices. They're so stinking cute. Oh, a miniature bubble teacup. So it's like a pre-made one with a little straw, with a little bendy straw. Uh, Sophie and Toffee UV resin for silicone molds. Wait, but this is a typo. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> okay, so this is a typo. So it's these little plastic miniature pieces. Um, and it says resin, but that's okay. Uh, fake ice, fake shaved ice fake coarse sugar and fake fine sugar and then little boba tea beads <gasps> I'm so excited <laughs> we're gonna make such cute things and then the premium add-ons is whipped cream nozzles and then um, color art UV LED oh what do you think that's the deco that might be the deco whip and then caffeine themed resin film so you can put them on the cups and then what I really like is they've given us the instructions on like how much to fill, I think, or just kind of how to make, how to piece together those, the cup with the lids and the straws, which I think will be, oh, it is whipped cream. Premium add-on whipped cream. Yay. Oh man. Okay. Let's look. We got our labels. These are cute. Boba tea beads. UV resin. These are the little ice key or little, uh, ice fake ice i forgot they already called it fake ice cubes fake shaved ice maybe i'm really gonna have to look at those pictures to figure out and then you know what i'm probably gonna do is like label the bags so i know which one is which oh wait no these are the fake ice cubes look at how big those are i thought that was the fake ice cubes but it's these those are the fake ice cubes that makes sense oh my gosh these are so tiny I didn't realize how small this was. Look at these little deco tips. Fruit slices, fruit slices, uh, 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 uh. fruit slices. I have to laugh when I see fruit slices because it's like, they're not at all s to scale. <laughs> like, let me see if I can find an example. Like, look at this slice of watermelon. 
is the same slice as the grapefruit. <laughs> That's what cracks me up about these, but they're so cute. I love them. Um, what's this one? Oh, this is the deco cream. Okay. So yeah, I mean, that makes sense then why these are so small. They go together, which is pretty sweet. And then we got our pigment dyes in brown, white, and yellow. Very natural colors, but I think if we figure out how to mix them the right way, we can make them look like the pancake colors or coffee or tea. Here is this little mini cup, which I can't stand how cute this is. <laughs> These are so cute. <laughs> Come with me on a journey to this cup. Oh my gosh, look at how tiny this is. You would definitely have to use resin to close it up. Yeah, I can't close it, but look at this little straw. <laughs> I love it, it's so cute. It's perfect doll size, shoot. That's adorable. We got our pancake mold, which is like a ring and I don't know is that like the top so it's solid I don't understand I'm gonna have to read those directions so we can figure out how that works um oh my goodness sakes it's the straws <gasps> look at how tiny here's the little flat lids oh here's the domed lids here are the cups which is nice they have like a little plunger so you just fill it up a little bit with resin and then you push the plunger in. Um, I think it can overflow a little bit because the extra resin will just snap off pretty easily, but I'm gonna try to avoid making a mess. Here's our fine sugar. And let's go ahead and open these cool guys up. Come with me on a journey, again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are these chopsticks? Look at these little chopsticks. You, it's so funny, instinct. My absolute instinct is to snap it. I am resisting the urge to snap them like chopsticks. That's, it's like, I know you're not supposed to. That is so bizarre, the over, overwhelming urge to snap it. Talk about muscle memory. Here is a fork or like a dessert spoon and a, and a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a teaspoon. They're definitely two different sizes. Um, little knife. These are the little cups and things that we got. We got like a little wine glass. This looks like I would have a very delicious tropical drink in it with like rum floating on top. <laughs> yes, please. This looks like, um, like an ice cream sundae glass, right? Couldn't you see like, like pink, vanilla, and chocolate? Yes. Oh, so does this one actually, but with like scoops or maybe a, a banana split. These look like shaved ice glasses, but that might also be because all the examples I've been seeing online use these to make little shaved ice. And then let me see. Oh, wait, hold the phone. Where did you come from? Oh, it's a bowl. <laughs> wait, is it? Yeah, oh, this is a bowl. I thought it was a dome lid. It's a bowl. And then there's this one, which is strange. I don't know why it has a little handle. It looks like an ice bucket. It doesn't look like something you would put dessert in. But gosh dang, everything is so cute. So I think right away, one of the first things I'm gonna make with this is just a simple like boba drink and an iced coffee drink, since the theme is boba. That way I can use a lot of the stuff that came in this kit, like the boba beads and even the deco whip. I could use that to make like whipped cream, which is super cute. Maybe I should make a cocktail. You know, your girl likes cocktails. And my husband's a bartender, so I get lucky with that. I get all the cocktails. Well, now that we've seen everything that came in this amazing box, I think it is time to hunker down and make something. I think I am definitely going to be looking at their ideas and tutorials to get some thoughts and some inspiration. For this project, I'll be using the latte cup mold, the dome lid mold, the flat lid mold, the straw mold in medium and large, 
white, brown, and yellow transparent pigment dye for the coffee color, fake ice sprinkles, UV deco whip, UV resin, clear UV nail gel, fruit slices, hot pink transparent pigment dye, and the plastic pre-made cocktail glass. I decided to make an iced coffee with whipped cream and a Mai Tai cocktail. I originally tried making a boba tea as well, which you'll see, but I ended up messing it up, so I think I'll try that another time. You'll see that I'm making two of the molds, and that's for the failed boba tea, but I did use the large size for my iced coffee. I filled the cup molds a little more than halfway with UV resin, but it poured out the sides. I read the directions later, and I saw that the molds should be filled halfway to avoid spilling, but the extra was easy to snap off, so it's okay. I used gloves every once in a while when the resin still felt sticky. I did the same with the dome lids, and actually added a little at a time to see how much I needed. I added a few drops of resin, pressed the lid on, and saw that there were some air pockets. So I slowly lifted the lid back off and added more resin until it was enough. For the flat lids, I actually wanted to test out the clear UV nail gel that we got in the March wire dip box. I wanted to see if I'd have better control with the brush, and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I could get a nice thin lid with more precision, and they came out super clear and smooth. I thought the straws would be cute as hot pink, so there would be a pop of color around the brown coffee drink and the darker rum cocktail. So I added some of the hot pink pigment dye to some UV resin and added it to the straw mold. All of these molds were really easy to use. I was worried because I've had trouble with this type of mold before, but it was a piece of cake. Also, to make the cups more clear, shiny, and firm, I added a layer of the UV nail gel to the inside and outside. I'm really happy I did this step because it got rid of some of the stickiness and made the resin even more clear. And this is where I messed up. I really liked the idea of making these into shakers, but obviously the shaker liquid oil and pigment dyes won't mix. And I didn't really have time to actually make brown shaker liquid. So I thought I could make a little bit of a coffee color with the white, brown, and yellow and add it as a thin layer to the inside of the cups so that it would still be clear enough to see the shaker liquid inside with the boba or the ice. And it was going really well, but I could not get the brown to cure under my UV light. I left it under my UV lamp, rotating them every minute or so for maybe 5 or 10 minutes, and they were still sticky! I even tried coating it in my new BFF, the UV nail gel, and it was still sticky! So I knew that the ice cubes and boba beads would stick to the sides. So I decided, forget it, I'll just make them into regular resin charms. R.I.P. the boba charm, though. The beads just did not show through the brown color. I mixed up more of the coffee colored resin and poured it into the cup with just a little bit of the ice cubes. Then before curing anything, I added the straw. Next, I added some clear resin to the flat lid and placed it on top. Then I cured the whole thing, securing the straw in place. I added the flat lid so that I could put the whipped cream on top of it. That way I wouldn't use up so much of the cream to fill in that space. I swirled the deco cream on top of the lid, but the tube was really difficult to squeeze. Not because it's a hard tube, but honestly, I just don't think there's a lot of product inside. Like when you try to squeeze toothpaste out of an almost empty tube, that's kind of what it was like. When I was done, I added a little yellow and white to the coffee color resin and dripped it onto the whipped cream like caramel drizzle. Then I added the dome lid with some UV resin and cured the whole thing under my UV light for the last time. Yum! This looks good enough to drink! It looks identical to the usual iced coffee I get at my local coffee stand. But you know what I really need? A tropical Mai Tai. Mai Tais have delicious pineapple fruit juice at the bottom with ice and an even better dark rum floating on top. So I mixed up a beautiful yellow-orange color in the resin. I realized my blue matte made it look kind of like a weird green color, but I promise it's pineapple color. I added the fake ice cubes and then mixed up a dark rum color. This was basically the same color combination for the coffee, but with more yellow and brown. Then I dripped that on top of the ice, stuck my straw in, 
stuck on my orange slice and cherry garnish, and cured the whole thing under my UV light. Yes! I need a real Mai Tai now. These drinks look so delicious, but more importantly, they look so cute! These would make awesome earrings. You can make little cocktail themed earrings or boba themed earrings. This was such a refreshing box to make after the March UV wire dip debacle. It was so much fun and so inspiring. I have so many ideas flowing and I'm really excited to make more. Have you guys made anything from the May Sophie and Toffee Elves box? I'd love to see. Post it on Instagram and use hashtag BunnyDIY so I can see what you've made. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe by clicking the little bell so you don't miss any future videos. I post every Monday. Thanks everyone! I hope everyone is safe and doing well. Love you a latte!